Despite the rescue being closed, I uh, can't help but uh, stop to help the, the wildlife that I see. And so, on my way back into town from uh, uh, taking care of the, uh, the animals that I, that I have left that are staying temporarily out in a, uh, a horse stall, uh, I was coming back into town down Highway 79 and uh, saw a uh, turtle in the road and then just probably a uh, hundred yards farther down the road there was uh, a couple of kids stopped on, on the side of the road and one of them running out into the highway to uh, grab the other one. There was, there was another one just a little ways down the highway and so uh, both of them were right in the middle of the road and cars were driving right over the top of them and uh, I, I made a, a u-turn real quick um, and uh, smoked, smoked the tires trying to come to a stop and then uh, turned around and uh, I just basically parked my truck uh, in, the, in the middle of Highway 79 there was uh, the, uh, the next traffic behind me was far enough behind that, that they could come to a stop my, I just put my truck in park and put the hazards on and the uh, the kid that had uh, gathered the other turtle, he uh, he ran out there and, and grabbed this this other one while uh, while I had traffic stopped. And uh, his name was Jacob. And uh, so thank you, uh, Jacob, for helping out with that. And uh, I pulled over to the shoulder and uh, gave him a quick look at to make sure they they weren't injured. And miraculously, uh, uh, neither one of them were were hit. Uh, no, no apparent injuries, although they're both tucked real good into their shells. They're real, real scared. And uh, both of these uh, are river cooters. Both of them are good. And um, the nearest stock pond uh, across the highway is basically a mud hole now. There's no water in it. The next nearest water source, uh, about a quarter mile to a half a mile away, uh, Lake Wichita. Um, the uh, the dam area on uh, Kemp Street, that area uh, around the boat dock and everything, and around the dam, the the water is receded a good hundred yards or more out into the out into the, the lake. There's like no water at all at at the boat ramp or anything. You'd have to walk across a uh, hundred yards of mud uh, to get out to the water. So I brought them out here to location where I did some releases uh, uh, end of last summer and this is a little little man-made lake here that's uh, over behind uh, this assisted living community up here and um, there is a uh, hotel right up here it's over here off the uh, off uh, Kell Freeway but uh, has retained some life, retained uh, quite a bit of water, although the water level is pretty low as you can see. It, it used to be up there, uh, up the bank there, but uh, we still got ducks. And uh, still got turtles and everything out here and fish. And uh, I released, uh, I don't know, three, three or four uh, rehab turtles out here last year. Uh, Hit, hit by cars and, and whatnot, and uh, they all made it and uh, released them out here. And I will be releasing more here in the, in the coming days. And so, because the nearest water sources to where these guys were found just really isn't that viable, um, I'm bringing them out here, and they're just really, really scared, really scared little turtles. I don't. I don't often see uh, see turtles that that scared where they, where they haven't come out and started flailing their limbs yet. Um, <laughs> they they've been like this for the last uh, half hour or so that it, it took to uh, get them over here. And being that this is. Uh, mating season what uh, I'm sure they were doing was going off looking for uh, new habitat new mates 
the uh, habitats uh, that they had to have come from were were really in, in no uh, no shape to support any kind of uh, uh, mating or uh, any anything else. Um, so we're just going to help them out here and move them to a place that still is decent turtle habitat. And these are the uh, one type of reptile that I actually consider it uh, okay to uh, relocate them um, a little farther. That's a, a aquatic uh, reptiles. They, uh, they're they known to be um, migratory anyway, migratory uh, down waterways and then they'll they'll go over land for quite a distance to uh, find a new uh, new habitat, new uh, water source uh, anyway uh, for mates um, to uh, to lay eggs. If there's uh, too much competition, not enough food resources, they'll uh, they'll migrate over land. So uh, that's why I'll uh, I'll release these guys uh, over here. Terrestrial reptile. These were box turtles or uh, any other kind of terrestrial reptile. I I I, uh, I would not relocate them. Um, more than about a quarter of a mile. So these uh, aquatic turtles are the exception. Looks like they're just going to sit here a while. So I'll just watch them for a little bit and see if they decide to swim off anytime soon. <laughs> 